All right, this one's gonna be on a text user interface audiobook player called Gadach or Gadach. Not sure exactly sure how you say that, but um, you know you have your audiobooks in uh, different folders, right? So we have a couple in here in different folders, and so to use it, it's pretty simple. Type the program name, and you you know whatever um, ones that you want. Let's say, for example, this folder here. And it's gonna load up and this is how it looks like the interface. If you wanna get the high keys for it, uh, you hit the, uh, well, they have one at the bottom here, but if you wanna get the full high keys, you do shift and question mark. And this will show you all your high keys. And um, we didn't go a couple of them, but basically you can use your arrow keys or Vim high keys here to you know navigate and forward or or uh, you know seek through the audio and stuff like that so that's what we're going to do uh to play this all you gotta do is go to the chapter that you want so let's say for example here on the playlist up top here all right we can do um what was that chapter one here and all you do is hit play if i um let me go back to the beginning here if i hit play now yeah, volume up here. Okay. Long Hawk. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Lisbeth Long Hawk, translated from the Norwegian of Hans Arnwood by Laura E. Paulson. Chapter. So you can hit P again to pause it, but you can see uh, that's how it plays here. Like even if I quit out of this right now, right? Uh, you can see that on my um, progress, it's at 24 seconds here. You can see here, 24 seconds, right? Uh, even if I quit out of this and I come back into it, it's gonna be at 24 you know, seconds, right? So you can do this with any chapters. It will just actually save your progress. Um, another thing is they have a anti-spoiler. So if you actually um, use it here, what was that one? Um, you have a, yeah, there we go. See a uh, control A, right? Control A here. This is anti-spoiler. You can actually toggle it using control A. And you see how it has like, um, what's it? All the other chapters are like, uh, you know, blanked it out. And so if you don't want any spoilers in the name or stuff like that, like maybe if you're like, remember like watching Star Wars, Qui-Gon's death or something like that, you don't want to get that spoiler um, until the end or something like that, right? Anyways, uh, that's what you can do here. Uh, other stuff you can do is like bookmarks. So let's say, for example, um, you know, if I go to here and let's say maybe, for example, I'm at... Uh, four minutes or something like that, right? I can add a new bookmark using um, A here, right? A here to add a new bookmark, right? So your bookmarks will be over here on the um, left side here, right? So if I hit A, I'll call this one, um, I don't know what you call this one, uh, cliffhanger or something like that, right? And you can see that it says uh, cliffhanger at, um, what is that, four minutes here, all right? And so that's what you can do. Um, so if you had a different chapter, it would not have bookmarks. So if you go to chapter one now, or let's say we go to chapter three, right? There's no bookmarks. But if you go back to chapter two, you have your cliffhanger in there. And let's say I add another one here, right? Let's say I go forward in, in the time. Let's say at... Uh, 845 seconds here we'll add another one a let's say um uh, i don't know ending right whatever you want to call it so you see now we have another bookmarks right and you can access your bookmarks um with either b or capital b um b is for the current chapter right and so you can jump through it so let's say for example i jump to that it would go to um four minutes here, right? If I did it again here, B, and go to eight minutes, 45 seconds here, 
you see that we actually skip it and now we're at uh, 8 minutes and 45 seconds right uh, so that's how that works now if I let's say I add another one let's go to uh, chapter 3 here and let's say I add a um, I don't know a bookmark here we'll say um, we'll call this uh, food or something like that right and now if I hit um, capital B you can see that um, it'll list me all the bookmarks I have regardless of what chapter that we're on or in this case whatever mp3 that we're on right it's just gonna jump through it so I can jump to uh, the cliffhanger one I can jump to uh, the food one right and there you go that's how you would have a global bookmark so uh, like I said either B or capital B is for the, the bookmarks now as, as far as deleting the bookmarks um, real simple I can go here and I go uh, you hit D on it and it should delete it uh, for each chapter that is you have to go to each chapter so let's say for this uh, chapter 2 here if I hit B and now I go in here I hit D it will actually delete that and it will say yes and then B again and let's say I want to delete this I hit D right the D hotkey and then I'll say yes and that's how you delete bookmarks um, per chapter here um, pretty much it for the program really it's not that difficult uh, even if you exit out of it um, it's gonna save you know where you left off when you start again um, there is no like built-in browsing mechanism so you actually have to like either manually you know uh, type it in so for example we uh, do the Dutch uh, what was that Alice in Wonderland here right so you actually have to manually type in the directory of the audit book and then it will load up um, but if you want to make this like a little bit simpler you can do let's say for example we'll write a little find script here so find wherever your audiobook is located at so audiobook here and we only want directory so we do like a type D right <clears throat> and you see it has it like those um, three books although we don't want the first uh, parent one so we're gonna do let's say for example um, yeah we'll do tail dash in we'll do plus two and forward so now we just have those three books also maybe if you have like a um, we only want yeah we probably only want the um, uh, the max death to be one since we don't want to do like a recursive uh, another folder on top of that maybe you do uh, that one's optional max death right but still that's what we want and now we can actually pipe that into like FCF so for example we'll do FCF and now we have our um, list right we can select it and you see it paces out our path here uh, but we don't want to show up the um, path we just want the um, base name of you know the folder so uh, how do we do that we do a dash D for delimiter and the delimiter here we're gonna do the slashes for folders and we want it within um, just the last you know just the last line only All right and there we go we have our folders but even when you select it it'll actually print out the um, full path again and um, <clears throat> and now all you gotta do is pipe, pipe that into uh, Kadaj um, and we'll do anti-spoiler how about that dash A for anti-spoiler uh, actually we do here we go and we'll pipe that in here and that should do what we want here right so now whenever you do this you know we bust this out close it run again bust another one out and then you have your um, audiobook um, menu here right 
Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for the program. If you want a terminal text user interface um, audiobook player, this is a good one. Um, real easy. It actually uses GStreamer to play the audio. So not sure if that's a good thing or not, but that's it for this one.